Hello everybody, we are still talking about functions and for this video, I am going to talk about graphs as functions. So oftentimes, a graph of a relationship can be used to define a function. By convention, graphs are typi uh, typically created with the input quantity along the horizontal axis and the output quantity along the vertical. The most common graph has y on the vertical axis and x on the horizontal axis and we say y is a function of x or y equals f of x when the function is named f. Okay, so as you can see from here, uh, the horizontal axis is the x or the input quantity and the vertical axis is the y or the output quantity. Okay, so how do we uh, use the the x and y axis to define a function okay so uh, i believe na ano na you have already prior knowledge ano dito sa graphing uh, using the x and y coordinate system okay for example uh, if the input is 1 okay if this is 1 and the output is 3 so this is uh, 3 then uh, this corresponds to this point, okay? This has an input of one and an output of three. Okay, so I think you can plot points in the X and Y coordinate system. Okay, but the question is, uh, are there, are all graphs considered functions? The, the answer is of course no, right? So, how do we determine then if a graph is a function? Paano natin malalaman kung yung graph na yan ay function or not? Okay, meron tayong tinatawag na vertical line test. The vertical line test is a handy way to think about whether a graph defines the vertical output as a function of the horizontal input. Imagine drawing vertical lines through the graph. If any vertical line would cross the graph more than once, then the graph does not define only one vertical output for each horizontal input. Now, basically, if uh, the vertical line test says that if a vertical line, if any vertical line is drawn, the vertical line should only intersect the graph of the of the function in one point, at most one point. Okay, so for example, if this is your x and y coordinate system or x and y axis and here is the graph okay so how do we determine if this is a function or not so we pass through a vertical line so a vertical line should only meet or intersect the graph in one point in that in that case then that is a function so we can actually readily uh, say if a graph is a function or not by using the vertical line as example uh, if we have a graph something like this is this a function so if we try to pass through a vertical line here oh, it, it intersects the uh, the graph at two points tama dyan at saka dito so basically this is not a function because it fails the vertical line test if there is a vertical line test we also have the horizontal line test the horizontal horizontal line test determine uh, it determines if the function is a one to one or not one to one okay uh, the horizontal line test works uh, just like the vertical line test okay uh, we have a vertical line passes passing through the graph if it intersects the graph at only one point then the function is one to one otherwise uh, it is not one to one example uh, example is a parabola the parabola if you if you try to pass a vertical line it only intersects the graph at one point diba? so this is a function but it is not one to one because if you pass through a horizontal line it intersects at two points diba? so a parabola that opens upward is a function but it is not a one-to-one -one function okay that's how the vertical line and the horizontal line test 
works. Okay, so let us take a look at this following example. So which of these graphs define a function y is equal to f of x and which of these graphs defines a one-to-one -one function? Okay, let us try to answer muna which of these graphs define a function y equals f of x. So let us use the vertical line test. Okay, so in the first graph, seems like the vertical line test pass. Diba? Kasi if we try to draw a vertical line at any part of the graph, uh, it only intersects the graph at one point. So this is a function, right? That is a function. This one is a line, so this is also a function, right? Because it intersects the graph of the line at only one point. Uh, this one is not a function because if we try to pass through a vertical line, it passes through two points, okay? So this is not a function. So we don't need to tell whether this is one-to-one -one or not anymore because it's not a function. So this one, if we pass through a horizontal line test, it intersects the graph at three points. So this is not one-to-one, -one, right? Not one-to-one. -one. This one is a one-to-one -one because a horizontal line test says that it only intersects the graph at one point. So that's how we determine if a graph is a function or a one-to-one -one function, okay? Next, how do we evaluate or solve function using a graph? So evaluating a function using a graph requires taking the given input and using the graph to look up the corresponding output. Solving a function equation using a graph requires taking the given output and looking on the graph to determine the corresponding input. Okay, so let us take a look at this example. So we are given the graph of y is equal to f of x. Okay, so we have here y is equal to f of x. And then let us evaluate f of 2. Okay, so basically, for part A, it's asking for the output value when the input value is 2. Remember, the input value is the horizontal, right? So this is our input value. This is our output uh, value. When the input value is 2, it means it's here. What is the output value? Say the graph is there. So the graph at x is equal to 2 is at this point, right? So... The output value at this point is this one. The input value is 2. The output value is 1. This means that f of 2, see, f of 2 is equal to positive 1. Okay, for part B, it's asking for the input value, what is x, when the output value is equal to 4. Okay? The output value is equal to 4, so we take a look at this one. This is 4, and let us determine the input value. So there are two in input values in here. So this point and this point. Oh, for the first one, this corresponds to an input value of negative 1. And for this one, it corresponds to an input value of positive 3. Therefore, the two input values are x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to so that's how you determine you know, the or that's how you solve or evaluate function using graphs.